The basic thing that we learned, and I'll illustrate by group C N, which is a pizza sliced in N pieces. If I pick a point in my pizza and I say, I have an olive here. If this was truly symmetric and fair pizza, it would have the olive in the same place every place. Group orbit has n pieces, unless I had something in the middle here that was so infinitesimal that I couldn't share it. It was just a dot at which I sliced the pizza. There will be an invariant subset. G of that point just returns the point. In continuous case, which you actually know very well because you have seen that the limit of of infinitely many of them. I have my pizza now. This is not very sweet if you're a sibling. One dimension. But that's now called reduced state space. Many names which we discussed earlier. Whole state space divided by a group. Or we call it slice in particular implementation. Or one can call it base manifold. If you are so modern that you want to learn the mathematics of 20th century, not just 19. A whole smear of these olives. And each one of them is parameterized by G theta acting on my point X and group orbit. You can call it group orbit or how is it you take this continuum limit, uh, whether it's even wise to take a continuum limit. And we already discussed it in symmetry reduction in the we do this problem and then realize that they're very related. The way you might have learned it in some courses that if somebody learned, taught you discrete Fourier transforms, they also showed you how to take a continuum limit. But often they just teach you continuum Fourier transform first, which encompasses everything about the group. And regular representation is a matrix of dimension order of the group. Here, this parameter is continuous, so we have an infinite space. The regular representation is not a finite matrix. The representation was just a Kronecker delta. And in this case, so it should be possible to write down trace formula. Now you have infinitely many representations because there are infinitely many wiggles you can put on a continuous line. Let me argue a little bit about that. 